Let's get to our card. I'm excited for us to do this. First up is Sunday night heat. It aired, uh, on the, the preview channel. And of course, WWE.com. of course, previously it was on the USA network, but we're now off of the USA network. Um, at least for Sunday night heat, but we know what's coming. William Regal and Paul Burchill are going to defeat Paul London and Brian Kendrick in five minutes and nine seconds. When London submitted to the Regal stretch after sustaining a shoulder breaker from Burchill who had just recently debuted alongside Regal in hindsight, what's your favorite Paul Burchill story? Jesus Christ his debut when he came in on the, on the rope and <laughs> Here's a pirate, and we had the minis that were a part of it, and uh, the official executive from UPN was being interviewed when all of a sudden he was interrupted by a pirate swinging in and tearing, tearing up the set and coming in surrounded by a bunch of minis, as they were known in the time. And it was just chaos. And as I finished doing it and I'm watching it back and Vince is there to watch it. And he looks at me and says, God damn, you think maybe it's a, it's, it's a little too much. And I said, gosh, Vince, what the fuck is too much here? I mean, is it, is it the pirate that comes sweeping in on a fucking, uh, rope? Or is it the pirate cutting cutting up the set? Is it the fucking minis that are humping the television executive's leg? Or could it be the pirate going, Arr, matey. What the fuck is it that's too much? So, yeah, that was kind of my... His debut was, was the best. <laughs> How about this, though? I can't wait till we talk about that part in the Road Warrior episode where we talk about the fact that you made him tag with John Heidenreich, who's most famous for raping Michael Cole or fighting Alabama doink in a golden corral parking lot. I'm going with the Alabama parking lot. <laughs> what about, uh, what about Eminem you here? Fuck Alabama doink too. Jesus Christ. He fucking doink. He passed away. I, I understand that, but he was a con man. Let's fuck him anyway. Yeah. Wait, why was he a con man? I don't know Alabama doink. I don't, I don't know why he was a con man either, but he was never a fucking doink in WWE. He was never a doink ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. I love that. You got doink heat. That, that fucking pisses me off. I got doink heat. God damn it. It does. You know, to, and again, maybe it's because to me, there's only one doink and that was Matt Bourne. Uh, Ray Apollo. Okay. Steve uh, Lombardi. God damn. Lombardi was when you needed a third doink to do some kind of bit. And then well, hang on now. To... didn't you get him huh? in doinks R us? Yeah, it, it was, that's what it became was doinks R us. But Kern was the original second doink. Um, <laughs> the original second doink. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh but fuck that shit, man. There's only one doink, and that was Matt Bourne. Kern was good at doink. Apollo was nya nya, but he was okay. Just he inherited it and didn't have the same kind of style and charisma that Matt Bourne had in that character. Matt Bourne made doink. Lombardi. Not a chance. And fucking whoever the fuck Alabama doink is. Was. And whatever. Um, not even close. Never was a doink in WWE. Come on. Okay. I didn't know you had to get Gets hot me it. hot. See, well, now you got me hot. I'm sad we lost him. It's been... Uh... Two years ago, we poured out a little bit of liquor here at the house for him. Rest in peace, Alabama doing. So after we see this phenomenal promo on SmackDown from Andy Guerrero, he's supposed to tag with Batista the next week against Eminem, but he's faking being sick. At least that's the implication. And 
Batista brings in a doctor who's going to give him a, this is real, a rectal probe without lubricant. And Batista holds Eddie down as Eddie makes the segment work with his verbal and facial expressions. And Batista's on track to win the match, but Eddie tags in after watching from outside the entire time and hits the frog splash. And he's going to sell his ass as he's celebrating with a confused Batista. Bruce, why are y'all having people stick shit up people's asses on SmackDown? You've never been anally probed? Is it? No, I'm not 40 yet. I think you start that at 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's about right. But you probably got a jump start on yours, right? I did not. Well, actually, I guess I kind of did, but I, I, I had issues down there at a young age. What was his name? Dr. Procto. Seriously, who says, okay, guys, what if he faked sick so we had a doctor come shove something up his ass and Batista holds him down? See, you go to the uh, ultimate crudest possible thing. We went to actual medical journals to decide what would a real medical professional do in this situation. Well, you could take his temperature through his mouth. Listen, 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 man. I got a doctor in the family. Oh, yeah. All right, so I made a call. Okay. Dr. John Richards. What would happen if Dr. said, Dr. John said, well, if it was me, I'd anally probe him and you got to put some suppositories up there because suppositories pro tip kids, they get in your system a lot faster than any other type of medication other than injection. But I guess it kind of is an injection because it is rectally going up in there, but it dissolves immediately and gets into your system and can help you a whole lot faster than orals. So during COVID, you've had your butthole reamed out a few times? No, no sir. Well, Never you, had my butthole reamed out. You just going to make sure you're not sick. But I'm not sick. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's rectally. You just told us that. No, there's not because I'm not. I don't have any symptoms. Eddie had a symptom. What was the symptom? He didn't feel good. On the raw home. Hurt. Seriously. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad-free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad free shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like title chase, Eric fires back conversations with Conrad and the insiders plus new series like the book with David Crockett, Monday mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early. You can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And Hey, when you do the first week is completely free Adfreeshows.com. 